Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. And today I have Sai who is our hardcore subscriber who is there with our channel from the initial days. Uh, Sai is with us and recently Sai has got an opportunity, job opportunity in one of the top MNCs and he is here with us to share his experience, the interview process and we will ask Sai all the questions. How did he get job during this this times and how is the DevOps market right now? So yeah, Sai, why don't you introduce about yourself before I start the discussion? Yeah. Thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to speak with you, Abhishek. And coming to myself, my name is Sai Kiran and you can call me as Sai. And I'm from Vishakhapatnam, which is uh, located in south part of the India, Andhra Pradesh. And coming to my work experience, uh, I do have three years of, uh, like, you know, three years, eight months of experience in multiple domains. Okay. And like, you know, currently I'm working in Mindry. Um, that's it. That's it. From <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm so now I'm actually sorry. No, 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 no. I, I think it's totally fine here. We are trying to understand uh, because you recently got a job opportunity and you know that many of our subscribers are actually uh, who are trying to transition their career into DevOps and they okay. want to learn from you and all your insights will be very, very helpful for mm -hmm. them. So don't be hesitant, share all the information that you have, how you have, sure. uh, right? So let's start the discussion and uh, I'll quickly get onto the action and ask you, mm -hmm. like, I see that you have transitioned your career from a uh, systems engineer to uh, a yeah. DevOps engineer, right? So mm -hmm. how was exactly. this? How was this path? Because these days I see that the career transition, uh, people say that the recruiters only prefer people in the DevOps stream and transitioning from one stream to the DevOps stream is difficult. How did you find it? Like in your case, was it difficult or how was your experience? Uh, as you said, Abhishek, it's a bit difficult. Like, you know, everyone will be definitely working for uh, 10 to 11 hours nowadays, not for nine hours. Hmm. So. It's always uh, like, you know, good to spend separate time on the learnings. What I did was like, you know, during my office hours, uh, I used to spend some time on uh, your videos. And previously, I also used to, like watched so many videos. Um, like, you know, in Saturdays and Sundays also, during uh, the normal days, yeah. I have spent a lot of time on like, you know, the learnings. And uh, the more time where I spent is on practicals. Because okay. learnings, okay. you can give it for one hour. Yeah. Uh, but coming to the practicals, we need to be like, you know, very dedicated uh, yes. uh, to be placed in a, like, you know, some good companies on the role which you like. Okay. So this is about uh, your working hours and how do you manage the learnings, right? So you are already working yeah. in somewhere. So you are working for eight to nine hours or more than that. And giving time for this new learnings is difficult. But okay, let's say you have learned all of these things. Now, you are okay. perfect in the DevOps technology. Let's say you're working as systems engineer yeah. and you have mastered all the concepts in DevOps. Then if you go to recruiters, how are they, re how are okay. they looking at you? Because you are coming from a yeah. different stream, right? So are they yeah. accepting your profiles or are they considering that no Sai is coming from a different stream? So uh, let's not shortlist this resume. How is the process? Yeah, uh, here, like, you know, one thing we need to keep it in mind if you are technically good, no one can stop you. But I can tell you strongly. Okay. So, and the second thing is, we do not go directly into the now career and just click on apply. That hmm. will definitely not work. Like, you know, there is okay. a good path to reach recruiters. Like, example, let's take it as LinkedIn. Hmm. Uh, you have seen an active position in LinkedIn. Okay. Okay. So let's go and let's not go directly and apply to the position. Instead, enter the company name, like organization name in the search bar and see people who are working over there. Okay. Okay. And just reach them, like, you know, uh, with a connection request, asking them that, uh, like, you are reaching for an active position in your organization. Okay. Can I get a referral for that? It will be highly appreciated. It's a, there is no harm in that. Like, you know, yes. you're just asking for the referral, not more like, you know, any personal data like that. Yes. So at least if, you, let's say, imagine if you ping 50 members, at least 10 will give you a positive response. Okay. Even if someone is pinging me over LinkedIn, why not give a chance to him? Let him prove. So that's the best way to reach. If you if you go directly to the Naukri and keep on uh, clicking on a place, that will 100%, it will never work. Okay, okay. So yeah. 
you, what you are saying is uh, there are multiple opportunities, but it's up to you on how to work smart rather than working hard, right? So instead of <laughs> applying for five hundred thousand positions, what Sai is yeah. Sai is suggesting us is apply for sixty six fifty to sixty positions, but make sure that whatever you are applying, it will at least reach to the recruiters, right? Exactly. Awesome, awesome. So, how was your experience with uh, LinkedIn? Uh, were you active on LinkedIn, or uh, did you send uh, this resumes to a lot of people? Because you you said that you click <laughs> on uh, that button and you see for people who are working in that organization. So, you used to do that every day. Um, hundred percent, yes. I deleted okay. Instagram just because of LinkedIn. <laughs> wow, so, so nice. Like, you know, wasting time, a lot of time. So, uh, coming to the LinkedIn part. Uh, nice. I, I've been more active on LinkedIn. Okay. Uh, before this interview, I lost somewhere around twenty-three interviews. Like, you oh, know, okay, uh, okay. Let's see, pinging everyone on LinkedIn and asking them for referrals. Like most of the people had given me a referral, and I lost so many interviews. And finally, I landed one. Maybe in future, some more. Very nice, yeah. very nice. So that is you just shared one of the very interesting things, and actually, that is required uh, at this point of time. because many people are reaching out to me saying that abhishek i i mean i uh, failed in four to five interviews i did not uh, pass through the first round also so i keep telling them that you know four to five interviews is nothing like even if i go ahead and give interviews today i might fail in some interviews because you never know what interviewers expect from you right it's not how much you know it's what they need so sometimes okay. there can be differences or you know you might have that interview fear or you are learning through each and every interview right you have to keep that in mind exactly. that today i'm giving an interview and i'm learning something from the interview so if you look at sai he just mentioned that he gave some 23 to 25 interviews and after that he got uh, landed in a very good mnc and that's that's very good right now all the failures that he had previously are that stepping stones towards this success Do you do you agree with that, Sai? You might have learned a lot from exactly. that twenty-three interviews, right? Yes, yes. From twenty-three interviews, like you know, I gained like around thirty to forty questions. Awesome. And out of that, some twenty twenty-five real-time scenarios, like what questions are not there nowadays? Yes. The option is there are no what questions. There are all yes. scenario-based questions. Scenario-based questions. So yes. I gained a lot of uh, like you know interview kind of stuff from the, all the interviews. But I request everyone, like I request your subscribers. Do not uh, get demotivated just because they are losing the interviews, you know. Yes. And there are also some kind of uh, good panel members, like you know, they suggested me where I am going wrong and where I am lacking, and then oh nice, uh, they used to suggest me. They used to suggest me keep working on this, keep working on that, and that helped me a lot. And there are some panel members, like you know, who used to scold me directly in the video call, <laughs> saying that yeah. why did you come to the interview? Yes. Yes, yeah. that will happen. right that's uh, like yeah that's totally fine yeah i mean it happens for the best of us as well so everyone yeah. will go through this phase let's say you are transitioning from one career to other career then definitely you will have a lot of unknowns you might be learning a lot of things from youtube you are doing practicals but there will be scenarios that you might not be able to answer in size yeah. case he learned about all of these things with that 23 interviews and now you are definitely happy right now you have that confidence exactly. that i am going to clear any interview yes. right <laughs> i i am i am pretty confident on that because i now i got to know that but that's okay like it's not a big deal to crack an interview yes. so we can do it anything is yeah awesome awesome so you have given 23 interviews but how many job roles did you apply for roughly like on linkedin and now cre more than more than 100 i applied During more the than time 100. precision itself only, yeah. The hundred were like you know, as I said before, just going and clicking apply. Then I got to know that one day I was sitting and thinking, why I am not getting calls? Maybe I am lacking between the experience or the recession hmm. time. Like yeah. you know, every time I used to choose negative path itself. Only when I asked my friends, everyone used to say, "Arey, it's a uh, like, no recession. That's why you're not getting calls." But that's yes. not the reason. The way yes. of approaching is wrong. So you were saying hundred per day, right? You applied hundred per day. Right. Yeah, hundred per day. Yes. Oh, wow, <laughs> and that is during the time of recession. Recession. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that that is required for everyone. Like, uh, so also one more thing that I've noticed is uh, I don't know uh, even 
you have followed this technique or not i've seen uh, because i interact with a lot of people people tell me that they were successful by modifying the resume according to the position like let's say there are yes. 50 to 60 uh, job opportunities you don't you should not be sending the same resume to each and every one what i have noticed is people yeah. were successful if they modify the job description according i mean resume according to the job description and send it to the recruiter so any yeah. experience from you towards that direction um yes because as i said i do have a technical i mean systems engineer background right yes so applying for a devops role and if you keep all the description and everything in a systems engineer roles and responsibilities it will not work hmm. so you definitely have to change your resume according to the job description and before changing you should be very confident on whatever you are mentioning in your resume because sometimes the interviewer will be going only through your resume and some interviews will be going only through the answers which you are answering they will be asking yes. the questions from your answer okay so okay nice we need to be confident on like you know whatever we are mentioning in the resume and as you said definitely we have to modify as per the job description it will definitely work awesome awesome so uh, now comes the most important question i think this is what our subscribers are also looking for so yeah when you transitioned or when you thought of transitioning right you were doing something you were in a very good company right but still you wanted to change your stream to something that is relevant in the market today right that you were exploring okay. devops yeah. and cloud so how did your learning start and uh, what was the strategy that you followed like you know you followed uh, the playlist of course you said that you followed the devops zero to hero playlist but how were you practicing okay. it yeah your interview okay. strategy uh okay so abhishek i have seen a lot of uh, like you know devops and aws videos around the youtube and you know i paid a lot of money to some of the online course like you know i don't want to take the names of but yeah it's, we it's should not be taking of, names it's, yeah it's, yeah it's it's i later i thought of being like you know it's totally a, a waste of money paying them like because in youtube people like you are sharing uh, the good content for free Yes. Uh, so you know, I used it very well. Like you know, as I said before, I spent three to four hours to my learnings. Okay. You know, because your videos are very picture clear. You know, for the practicals and everything, I I did I did my by my own, and like you know, for like I can tell you uh, strongly that my AWS bill was somewhere around per month two thousand five hundred to five thousand between. So oh, okay. can imagine how much practice I did. Uh, oh okay uh, like not leaving the nats and all just like that but like you know i used to deploy each and everything whatever videos i've seen from you and i used to do practice watching very and nice. without watching very very nice yeah, yeah. so that 2000 5000 is yeah. paying out a lot for you now right uh, yeah <laughs> whatever yeah. you spent on your learning you spent strategically right instead of spending on some random things you were practicing things and yeah, yeah that was also that is also very good because a lot of times uh, when there is aws bill uh, that uh, i mean if uh, during a practical if there is some aws service uh, that incurs some cost to the people uh, people are slightly hesitant but you know if you hesitate for that uh, simple uh, 50 100 rupees then uh, you know you might not be getting practical experience on that resource right yeah exactly and one more thing i wanted to add here is Uh, whenever you are practicing for the first hmm. time after watching the video just prepare a documentation simultaneously okay the reason why we need documentation is from the next time you should be doing that without watching with watching and without watching just like that okay so, okay like you know whenever like when you are hitting any production process like that when your manager or any of the lead asking you something then you can do it directly no need of watching the documentation also so it's always best practice to do the practicals without watching and if you are hitting with any kind of errors we do have google Yes. will be like you know uh, tracking all the issues so i google and i i can strongly say that i am the enterprise level support for my projects <laughs> you know whatever <laughs> i practice i used to resolve it i used to like you know okay. sit whole day and resolve all the kind of issues like that. very nice very nice and these days there is yeah. chat gpt and the uh, ai tools as well right so yeah, if you have right. any questions you can uh, ask those tools you have a kind of personal mentor with you 
and uh, you can exactly. yeah troubleshoot the issues debug the issues and that's how you learn things practically right when someone is saying that yeah. during interviews i am asked scenario based questions or i am asked practical questions i am not able to answer because you are not doing practicals on my channel at least exactly. i have taught 50 to 100 practical videos all together with yeah. all the concepts if we take example so do the practicals like what sai mentioned and yeah definitely uh, that's so insightful sai and did we mention that you have 4 years of experience or did i miss it somewhere <laughs> I, i mentioned it in the introduction okay. part already <laughs> okay okay yeah. yeah because sometimes it's important for subscribers uh, to understand like you know how much experience you have and how did you practice so that's why i was asking cool and so how was your interview process sai so let's say that you have cro- okay. you cracked this top mnc right so what were okay. the steps and uh, what did they ask you in each round if you don't remember everything just give a high level overview on how did the interview process go sure i remember each and everything it's total okay. of uh, three rounds okay yeah it's total of three rounds the first round was pure technical with two panel members and the second round was a managerial round i thought of being like managers i will be busy on delivering and you know uh, like handling the team and uh, deliveries all with the project managers so he'll not be asking any kind of technical kind of things let's okay. go and give it <laughs> okay. and and later i got to know i'm wrong and that the third round was like you know project manager round it's okay. a normal not okay. not highly technical but normal okay and the last one is hr, HR. that's it so overall, overall four rounds. rounds okay exactly and in each round like high level what concepts did they cover uh see no one uh, when i joined the interview no one has asked me about the introduction it's the okay. funny part i was waiting for the introduction because that's the okay. uh, like you know first impression uh, yeah and after watching the resume they directly came to the point and okay. they started with aws first okay and one person asked me uh, sir you have created an instance okay and the status is showing as 1 by 2 synchronizing yeah okay. okay and then you should not reboot you should not uh, like you know restart how will you resolve the issue basically scenario based That's, yeah scenario based it's basically a sync and async issue yes okay uh that that's what i explained to him and people who are watching this also can go through the like any google sources you will definitely get it and the second question what i get is uh dns which is uh, route 53 yeah. he asked me what is uh, like you know latency weighted hmm. and uh, like you know geo location so these are all questions were based on the senior like you know uh, he, he said there is a server and 100 users are hitting to it and i wanted to spread the users usa users to usa indian users to indian users so what kind of uh, like you know policy you use routing okay. policy i said the uh, geo location yeah. geo location will work perfect with this so there are same like latency and then uh, you know weighted uh, then still three more are there um, i forgot no no that's okay i mean oh, i wanted to yeah. know that uh, you know on what tools and technologies did this interview go on like so one was yeah. aws and uh, other yeah. things like what did they ask on the other other related things like what tools and technologies okay. did they cover so coming to the devops uh, they grinded me more on docker okay. and they grinded me more on terraform and terraform. git jenkins and then the artifact uh, remote repositories which were uh, nexus and uh, jfrog okay um and then the build tool maven mm-hmm. um there are no questions on uh, configuration management which is ansible okay. ansible puppet chef out of three no one has asked me anything um okay and then they asked me about azure devops instead azure of jenkins DevOps. why you use azure devops yeah um for cd for cd they didn't ask anything they directly jump on from ci to azure devops okay fine uh, yeah that's it kubernetes they asked me about the architecture and they asked me to explain like you know what were there in the control plane and uh, data plane and yeah. i was very new to kubernetes like you know it's been this before giving the interview just one week before i've seen your uh, kubernetes architecture video that helped me a lot because yeah. it's clearly mentioned uh, what will be there in the master node and worker node which are control plane and data plane yeah. so i had uh, delivered it perfectly okay so okay. you saw that architecture and you explained it the same <laughs> right exactly exactly 
yeah yeah sure that's how the uh, all this stuff that we are doing on youtube will help you right so when you find something and when you deliver it perfectly then for the next question your confidence will increase <laughs> right of exactly. course yeah. perfect perfect sai so this is your uh, interview process right overall and during the managerial uh, that was also technical slightly technical or mm. uh, did they go it's, or okay yeah it's it's a technical manager round I don't okay. think it's a manager round. It's a technical manager round. Okay. And he asked me about the projects which I work, uh, the issues where I work more with, and conflicts, deep conflicts, how I handle, uh, strength of my team, and how do you work on sprints? Like who will okay. be assigning the tasks? Was the there any sprints? Jira like and just, uh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. He's just checking whether if I'm really not like you know uh, worked in. Uh, uh devops project or not he's seeking in that way i got it. That. got it got it yeah. so yeah that was that was nice right so during the managerial round many people think that it will be uh, a casual discussion but there they will evaluate in terms of team fitting they will ev- evaluate yeah. you in terms of real life like when you get a problem how do you approach to that problem and uh, whom do you talk to how do you solve that issues right exactly yeah great great sai so with this experience right now how much confident are you about the next interviews 100% without doubt <laughs> perfect even perfect. if like like i am selecting or not selecting i am going to give the interview that's for sure awesome awesome yeah and one request from my side is keep sharing this information keep sharing this knowledge you are also very active yeah. on linkedin so try to help from your side post the interview questions that they were asking you right and uh, yeah. tell all the tips that you have and the tricks that you have probably you can put them as linkedin posts and from your experience i hope other people will also be able to uh, crack the job opportunities definitely i'm sure sure uh, do you have anything else to say to the subscribers sai um, nothing abhishek as i said before uh, do not get demotivated hmm. like, you know keep working on it uh, the email is in drafts of the hrs uh, you know outlook box just wait for it and <laughs> wow. keep working hard that's it awesome yeah. awesome <laughs> yeah just one last question uh, i remembered when i was asking uh, you that last question is how is the devops market right now how is the devops and cloud market right now uh, it's it's ever lasting okay. i'm i'm talking about now and for the future hmm. because devops is not a single tool many people thinking that devops is a single tool Yes. Like, you know, it's it's a totally a culture, as you said before in our uh, DevOps Zero to Hero courses. Yes. So you see, imagine if you are uh, going with some X tools today. Tomorrow there will be another tool adding in a DevOps culture. So yes. there is no end for DevOps. And like you know, if you go for ten years or five years back, like ten years back, like you know, this process is taking extremely lengthy. Like you know, delivering an any kind of hotfixes or any kind of things like that, it will take n number of months. Yes, but when it comes to the DevOps, it's it's like you know matter of days and uh, and so that's the reason why DevOps is everlasting and evergreen forever. Perfect, perfect, Sai. It was very nice interacting with you, and uh, I'm very sure that uh, subscribers have learned a lot from you and taking the yeah. inspiration from you. I hope the subscribers will also. crack the interviews from this interview and let me know in the comment section how did you find uh, this entire interview process discussion with sai and uh, if you have any questions for sai please ask that in the comment box and uh, again i'll request you sai uh, please try to reply to the comments if you have time sure. uh, so that you know they will also get uh, answers for the questions they have from long time i will i will definitely reply to like you know comments people who are having questions or any concerns i will definitely help them sure so that's all for today's uh, interview discussion with sai see you all in the next video and uh, take care everyone bye